Oh, uh, 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 okay. There it is. Ah! What is up, everyone? This is Absolute Zero here, and welcome to what is probably going to be the most unprofessional unboxing of anything in the entire history of everything. For those of you who have been living under a rock, the Nintendo Switch came out last Friday, and finally today I have a chance to open it. You guys have no idea, I've been excited all weekend that I can I couldn't even open it, and I'm just like, it's right there, and I need to open it now. But why don't we just go through everything that I have, all the small things first. For example, I did get myself this, the extra two controllers, the blue and red one. Thanks, EB Games, or for you Americans, GameStop, for putting this, like, giant sticker. You cannot even see it. There's too much light in this room. Anyway, whatever. You guys know what this is. Two extra controllers. Next thing is, I bought myself two Amiibos. These two Amiibos. Breath of the Wild Amiibos, because I couldn't help it. I'm covering one of them with my hand. Here we go. Here we go. With Link as an archer and Link on the horse, wearing a hood. Super freaking cool. I'm probably never gonna end up using them anyway. I haven't used a single of my Amiibos ever that I've bought. I've never used them for a game. Literally never. Not even for Smash, not even for Mario Maker, not even for Yoshi's Wooly World, which I don't even have. Anyway, moving on, I did buy myself the one to Switch because that looks super interesting and I know I have some coworkers who actually want to play this with me. So uh, I'm gonna have to prepare myself for some shenanigans with this. This is basically like the Switch's Nintendo Land where they make you play games with their new features on their console. That doesn't come with the console. Why do you do this to us, Nintendo? I mean, you did so great with Wii Sports. Why didn't you do it again with Nintendo Land? And why didn't you do it again with the Switch? <sighs> I digress. Here's the real one that I've been trying to play or wanting to play all this time. I have another copy of it coming through Amazon, but you know what? I couldn't wait until tomorrow, so I went out and bought it this morning, along with everything else that I just showed you. I spent so much money on that. Anyway, I'm going to be putting this guy aside for later use. Because we're going to make out with each other soon. And apparently, I'm just going to hate it very much. All right, guys, the big guy's coming in. Here we go. The Nintendo Switch. By the way, I'm like super late to this party, and unboxing video is probably super unpopular now, but I don't care. Okay, here we go. We've got this. This is how it looks like opening up the box. Okay, I'm I'm holding the presumably the screen and the console itself. It's it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. Every time I'm watching a video, this looks a lot bigger than I than what it feels like right now. This is this is a really sleek design though. I really like this. Then you've got your two mini controllers that come with it, black or red and blue depending on which one you ordered. The buttons feel really good actually. The joystick, hmm. They're Okay, yeah, holding it with one hand is good, but holding it with two hands is freaking tiny. But wow, they managed to jam pack like an L and R button into it. The two gray buttons you're seeing there, that's the L and R buttons. That's crazy. And of course, as they did in the Nintendo Direct for the Switch, you can do this whole clicky sound. Okay, admittedly, <laughs> this looks a lot bigger now with the controllers on it, but it feels really good. I expected this to be a lot heavier than it really is, but it's not that heavy. I'm just gonna put it down before I drop it. And you've got your dock. Is this a dock? This is not a dock. I think. I think this is not a dock. I'll figure out what that is after, because for now, this is the dock, as I understand it. So, like, this is supposed to just go in there? It's supposed to just, like, uh, I guess? Just, yeah! And then you can start playing it from your... Oh... This is the controller to play from your couch if you're at home. That makes sense. You're supposed to probably put your Joy-Cons in there. How do I take these out? Like, just, if you would just, if you could just, if you would just, if you could just, oh. Well, that wasn't too hard. Putting these things together to play must get really annoying. At, maybe just at first, but now. It's actually, this is, this feels really good actually. I like it. It's a tad small and it's very different from the usual controller that I have. I mean, let's show a PS4 controller next to it just for comparison. This is, uh, this is very different. This is very different. All right, so that's the unboxing of it. I mean, all we have are wires and AC adapters after that, so not much to show besides that. So I'm going to install this 
And then after that, I'm gonna make out with Zelda Breath of the Wild. Not with Zelda herself, that would be too good of a dream come true. Yeah, that didn't sound creepy at all, did it? Oh my god, I'm like looking at this, and I'm sort of tempted to go by myself and protect a screen for this. I don't want any scratches on this thing. And probably a carrying case, that might be a good idea, to avoid scratches even more. Yes, I'm getting paranoid, I know. This is so cool. You have like the freaking dock, and then when you look in the back, I was looking for the like ports, and I'm just like, where the hell is everything? And then you just like, boop, and it's right there. It's all there. <laughs> That's so cool. You can hide all the wires behind it. Nintendo really thought this out this time. Oh my god. I think the power port is legitimately a USB type C. Like, you know, for those who own a phone with the new plug, it's called a USB type C. This little guy here, this thing, I feel like I could plug that into a Nintendo Switch. It fits perfectly. It actually fits perfectly. That is totally a USB Type-C. 3.1 Type-C. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. I am smart. I am so smart. Uh, by the way, I do not recommend you plug in anything else other than the AC adapter that Nintendo provides you. Though, so this guy here. Don't use anything else, please. It'll, it might destroy your Switch for whatever reason. Well, no embedded Ethernet port on this thing. That sucks. Uh, whoa. I just put my switch into the dock and it's already on. I didn't even push the power button. Like, here we go. Okay, it's telling me to lift the switch. This is really weird. It's actually really far from me because... Uh... What? Okay, so the screen capture went off. Now I'm seeing it here. Like, I'm actually seeing it on my screen instead of, yeah, no signal, so there. We're back to here now, and it's actually showing up on the screen. Don't mind the fact that the background is black now. It's because I am using the green screen. Okay, okay, getting the hang of this, getting the hang of this. Okay, connected the right one, connected the left one. Now what? It's not, it's not what, it's, it's still telling me to put it in, but... I already did! Oh, I just have to push a button? It's happening guys! It's the switch! I have to do it on here, I can't show it to you. Okay, well give me a second as I do that, I guess. Oh my god guys, it's a home console and a portable console. I love this so much already. I am so happy right now to be holding this thing, shit. Would I like to connect to a TV and play on a larger screen? Why yes, I would like that. I would like that very much. Detach the Joy-Con controllers from the console. Wow, this thing feels really flimsy. I, I feel like I can break it right now if I were- Hey, micro SD! There's a micro SD slot in here. Okay, so apparently now I play like this. Is that what's happening? All right, let's dock the shit of this switch. And now, hopefully, something will come up. Yeah, it's working, awesome. Okay, so now I just plug in my headphones so I can actually hear stuff. This is really cool though, that I can just sort of move how I want to. Of course, that's no different from the Wii, but set my icon. Okay, let's just move on with this. You can copy a me from Amiibo? I am totally doing that with one of the Amiibos I- You- That's how you register a me now? Oh, that's a uh, me. Amiibo. Holy shit. How about I actually open this up then and use it as my icon? Woo! There it is, guys. The Amiibo for Link as an archer. All right, so how does this work here? On the right side of it, is that it? God damn it, Nintendo. Okay, how about my other one? Let's try the... You're dead to me. Okay, why don't we just skip on ahead and just use one of the freaking default avatars for now. I don't know, I'll be Zelda. Sure, let's be Zelda. Oh, I gotta enter a nickname now. <sighs> and people wonder why I use my other alias for these type of things. Absolute Zero is just way too long. I don't know, I guess this will work. Channel AZ for Channel Absolute Zero. Right, let's move on. 
Additional users can be added if this console is to be used by more than one person. This switch is mine. It's no one else's. Got that? Parental controls, because I totally need that for myself. Woo! Setup is complete. Okay, let's move on. All right, insert a game card or download software from the Nintendo eShop. This is where things get really interesting. Because in order to play a game, I need to have a game card. And you know what that means. While I open this box, let me explain. Apparently, what Nintendo decided to do was to put something, a chemical, on the cartridges of the games to make sure that any kids or dogs, or pets I guess, when they try to eat the cartridge, they're gonna just taste something really disgusting and won't want to swallow it. So of course, like an adult, everyone proceeded to lick the cartridge. So without further ado, wow, this is, this is a really nice case. You can't see it very well because I have too much lighting in my freaking room, but there it is. And this is the game cartridge. The one that apparently tastes like shit. So, without further ado, let's lick this thing. I'm getting so nervous about this now. Like who in the right mind would actually lick this thing? This is, okay, here it goes. Wait, that's it? That barely tasted like anything. I mean, I'll try again if I have to. <laughs> Guys, seriously, it's not tasting like very much. It's seriously not tasting like very much. Should I, should I be tasting something? Like, I'm just like, Oh, uh, 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 okay. There it is. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh because all the bitter taste buds are in the back. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, on top of how probably having ruined the cartridge, it, ow. Oh, it tastes horrible. Holy shit. Okay. Oh my god, I just, I, I, I need a cookie. I, I need something. I'm just gonna, I'm actually just gonna have the Subway cookies that I had and I saved. Not for this, it just happened to be there. So I'm just gonna. Mm. Oh man. Thank you Subway cookies for saving me from that bitter despair. This is totally not sponsored by Subway, by the way, nor is this sponsored by Nintendo, which maybe I should be. All right. So, I mean, it's really bad only if you put the whole thing in your mouth. I don't know how people got a reaction from just licking it. You had to like really put it in your mouth. Guys, Chinese medicine tastes worse than this though. I guarantee it. Chinese medicine tastes a lot worse than this. Okay. So, uh, lesson learned. Don't try to eat a Nintendo Switch cartridge. Don't do it. There we go, and in it goes. The car the game cartridge that I almost ate. All right, so I guess I should just get started. Right? It's that simple? I'm hiding the Switch loco. <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. But loading shouldn't take long because these are cartridges now, not CDs, which is going to be amazing. It's. I, I hope it doesn't like make nintendo i don't know well anyway this game should be beautiful i'm not going to go too much into the details of difference between cartridge and cds but as i hit the mic Wait, am I starting the game already? Is that just what's happening? I was just expecting an intro cinematic here. What's happening? Open your eyes.
Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. What? Oh my god, he's naked. Am I just jumping straight into the game? Because this is not what I expected. This is not what this video was for. Um. Whoa, it looks really good though. Was, th was that just his bed? Obviously not. What? What? Should I just stop this here before this turns into a let's play? This isn't what this was supposed to be. This was supposed to be just an unboxing. I'm... I Whoa. game i'm in the game there was no menu i just put the game in and nintendo was just like off you go on your adventure what the oh that's interesting okay well i'm gonna stop this right here this isn't supposed to be a let's play so um yeah i'm just gonna whoop. so that was my unboxing video of the nintendo switch and my Really weird makeout session with the Breath of the Wild cartridge. So I confirm, I really like the Switch so far. I haven't even played it that much, but uh, so far it looks very promising. And I can also confirm, don't eat the cartridge. Just don't do it, it tastes disgusting. All right guys, I'm gonna get off now so that I can edit this video so that you guys can see it. And then I'll be getting ready to live stream at the end of today, whenever today is. If you guys see this on time, maybe you'll see exactly when. There should be an event up for it soon, so Stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you get a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button just below the video. And don't forget to give this video a share for the world to see. But until that next video, my name's Absolute Zero. And always remember to keep it absolutely cool, everyone.